keep a pet these days for a variety of reasons, but I very much enjoyed having a kitty around. Ian Hag says, don't really watch Twitch, but realized I had a free Prime sub to spare. Really enjoyed watching the Mastery Challenge and the Stats Breakdown. Well, thank you for spending the time to give throw that support my way, and I'm glad you enjoy the content. That's her alien camcorders. It's true. What a weird act one. Starting bonuses are what? Choose a card, three potions, money for a rare card. Hmm. I kind of want to do this. Money for a rare card could maybe survive this if I got a good rare card. And Adrelore with 18 months. Thank you for the Prime sub as well. Well, we got a channel prediction going on. Now is your chance, Twitch chat, to get some bonus points. Earn yourself onto that cutie list by wagering whether we'll succeed or fail from the Zero Streak here. Your Prime sub is like free money for your favorite Twitch streamer? That's right. That's exactly right. We get money and you get ad-free viewing for a month. It's a win-win. And since we were talking cats, here's a cat-themed dad joke um, for you. Uh, what's the difference between a comma and a cat? One is a pause at the end of a clause, and the other has claws at the end of its pause. I don't remember where I heard that one. Definitely didn't just make that up. Hmm. I could almost see going three potions into the far left here. I haven't tried a three potion start in a while. I actually don't hate it. And Vertigo, thanks for the six months, you the best. That was my takeaway from last stream, Arcus, is that Philostone Heart was not a joke. We we dumpstered the rest of the Spire with that deck, but as soon as we went into the Heart fight, we were completely destroyed. I love it, Lamguin. Had yeah, the dreaded Parallel Fires and Elite setup. I wish we could play in downfall mode here. Go from the top of the spire to the bottom. Three three rest sites and then three elites, please. Why do I have to do this backwards? Mm -hmm. Even choose a card's not bad, actually. Maybe choose a card over three random potions. Let's, let's do the rare colorless card, though. All right. Secret weapon, chrysalis, or the bomb. I don't hate secret weapon. What about the bomb? Streak is six? No, I wish it was. No, we, we actually didn't win the heart fight on number six there. So the streak is zero. Is it ever Chrysalis on Ironclad? Probably not if I want to do these elites. Huh? No, let's do a Secret Weapon here. That should give us just enough of an edge that uh, taking the far left path is not too bad of an idea. At least that's my hope. Secret Weapon lets us fetch any attack card in the draw pile if there are any. And then it also exhausts, which activates quite a few little useful interactions with Ironclad. Hmm. Fire Breathing or Reckless Charge. We are fighting Hexaghost, which makes me want to take Fire Breathing. Big Bobby, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. 
You know what? I will take Fire Breathing. When we draw a status or curse card, deal six to every enemy is what it does. Hopefully it works right now. Oh, get him. Good work, Fire Breathing. The synergy with uh, Ascender's Bane. And we're offered Spot Weakness, Clash, or Intimidate. What a weird set of cards. Spot Weakness is perfectly fine. If the enemy is attacking, we can gain strength. That's pretty good. I don't really like Clash or Intimidate as an early card. Clash plus Fire Breathing seems like dooming oneself. Surely. Remove Transform or Upgrade. Interesting. Upgrade Bash might be a good idea. That makes us better at the Legavulin and Grumlinob fights, considerably so. Otherwise, I would Transform here to try to get something to kill the Elite with. My usual rule of thumb for this is, if you're able to beat your Act Boss, you can remove. If you're not able to beat your Act Boss, you should Transform. If you're not able to beat an elite that's in a couple of floors, then you should upgrade. And that's definitely where we're at. Number three is we should take a guaranteed improvement of power because we're up against something pretty dangerous pretty soon here. So usually I recommend removing if you encounter this kind of late in the act, one of, one of these question marks, and you already have a way to kill your act boss. That's when it's removed. Is it ever upgrade the spot weakness? I kind of like that, except my problem is with upgrading either Fire Breathing or Spot Weakness in this position is this. Since these are both conditional cards and we can't guarantee that they work, if we miss the card, we also lose the upgrade, basically. So if I draw a Sender's Bane before Fire Breathing and we're not fighting sentries, the Fire Breathing upgrade does nothing. And if I don't draw the Spot Weakness on a turn and enemy is attacking, then the Spot Weakness upgrade does nothing. So I should upgrade Bash, because we get that upgrade value no matter what. And we need some help. It's also arguably the best upgrade for either the Legavulin or the Gremlin Knob as elites. Um, both are really helped by having that additional um, additional turn of vulnerable. And if we're fighting the sentries, then we have fire breathing, and I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Okay, not too bad of a fight. Though, it always get worse, I suppose. We do get another potion. And I need some more damage, so Pommel Strike is great here. I would never take Shrug in this position. We need damage. You could make an argument for Sword Boomerang with um, Spot Weakness. It's not that much more damage. This would be, what, uh, 18 versus 12? I guess that is quite a bit more damage after one strength up. Still think I like Pommel Strike more. Slime goop, huh? If I'm worried about surviving this act, I should not take the money. That said, this is over 100 gold difference between gather and leave it. I'm going to gather here. Fistfuls of cheese. Thanks for the prime sub in the 25 months. And Gamorian. Thank you so much for the prime sub. What do you call a spell that summons a talented Canadian improviser who then insults you? Would that be Tasha's vicious mockery? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Hmm. 
He knows his D&D. And look at that. Upgraded Bash, turn one. You'll love to see it. We whiff the spot weakness thanks to the Pummel Strike. I guess I'm okay with that. Play this to avoid drawing it again. Three strikes won't kill next turn. That probably means we want to use the Colorless Potion next turn. To try to avoid uh, a huge amount of damage. We could get Panic Button. We could get Dark Shackles. We could get Hand of Greed. We could get Swift Strike, maybe. I don't think that would be enough, though. I have not seen that episode, Philly. Wondering if I also use the block potion here. Apotheosis wouldn't be enough to kill. So I probably don't want this. Because we deal 39, 13 by 3. Discovery still has a chance to be lethal here. Although Discovery will increase the damage we're taking if we fail to get the kill. I'm doing it. Perfected Strike. Should be enough, yeah. Yeah, that'll be more than 20. And we bring the knob below 20 here. Excellent. Potion preserved. We get ice cream and a freaking entropic brew. Fill all our empty potion slots with random potions. And... Berserk? With ice cream? Let's try it. That actually seems kind of decent as a way to get lots of energy. I don't hate it, uh, but it does want the upgrade to be only one Vuln. Otherwise, it's kind of tough to use. Although in this situation, we don't need the upgraded version. Unlimited energy, please. Still a kill, good. <laughs> it was two thirds to get a strike there. Off the pommel strike. Power through with fire breathing. Hello. Heavy blades okay with spa weakness too. Let's take the power through. If we redraw into the statuses, well, good. Kambui, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. What a ridiculous start we have here. We could definitely go for the Burning Elite if we want, but that would mean losing two upgrades. I don't want to do that. Yeah, Helix definitely makes it easier to get Berserk in play, right? For example, on this turn. Oh no, here we go. We could we could keep Helix. Or we can just trade Helix and Berserk. Let's do that. We 
going to keep the Entropic Brew for now. How's it going, Tarzan and Jane? Uh, we're using the Slay the Relics extension, so if you're watching on PC, you can actually mouse over our relics here and get a live description on your uh, PC for what the relic does. Currently, we just have four. The Burning Blood heals us six. The Ice Cream retains our energy. The Bronze Scales gives us three thorns. And the Fossilized Helix means we start combat with a buffer. So we ignore the first uh, hit to us each fight. Ink Bottle Blood Potion, very good. Flame Barrier, very good. I don't like Wild Strike, even with Fire Breathing. I'll take Flame Barrier, please. Let's upgrade that Fire Breathing, now that we have the power through. Is it a Hexaghost act? It sure is. So probably I'll just keep exactly these two potions into uh, the next act, although who knows what's going to happen. We could lose a lot of health to a regular fight, after all. Ow. Hello? Double fire breathing is kind of cute. Actually works pretty well as a damage engine. But I'm definitely going to grab the first disarm here to pull strength off an enemy. I think that's quite good. <clears throat> Might upgrade the flame barrier. Although disarm is pretty good too. Let's upgrade the disarm. That way our enemies have as little strength as possible. And they will not be able to harm us. Do we flame barrier defend or do I just buffer this and dish out some damage? I like that idea. Buffer the hit, deal the damage. Hmm. Good turn to be entangled, I suppose. Hmm. Wait, what's this? Hmm. Our mods seem to be working okay. I'm already Voln, I can just play this. To no further penalty. No problem. Feel no pain versus limit break. That's kind of interesting. Exactly correct, Tub Sass. I think that's what we want to do here is drink the blood potion, which isn't that bad going into Hexago, especially not with disarm. Drink the blood potion, 
drink this entropic brew. The strength potion, skill potion. We choose one of these to discard. We pick up the other entropic brew now. I guess we'll discard the skill potion. Go strength potion, entropic brew. Makes limit break a little bit better. Is this a skip or a limit break? It could also be the feel no pain. I'm definitely considering the feel no pain. Quite thoroughly. Let's do that. And we're going to upgrade the flame barrier. Let's upgrade the flame barrier. Although upgrading spot weakness is also totally valid here. I like the upgraded block for Act 2. Feel No Pain does not have a lot of synergy right now. You're not wrong. Oh, heck. Traitor Bottle just strikes. Bricking our spot weakness here. Hell. All right, let's try Strength Potion then. I'm not going to lose to this. I refuse. But we drew Flame Barrier for missing the spot weakness, so you know what? It's fine. Also, I pull block. Take 54 return damage, Hexaghost. Yo, you like it. Well, I do regret playing those strikes on turn one. Oh well. Uh, let's play the fire breathing and bank one energy. Not much of a buffer. That's all right. GG. GG. Have I ever killed Hexaghost on turn one? I think so. I think we've done that. Reaper, Exhum, and Bludgeon. Exhum is pretty good with a Disarm Plus. We can afford to play this Bludgeon. Pretty good damage, in fact. And I like it with the secret weapon. It's actually not a bad bludgeon. Um, Reaper is, of course, also very good for healing us here. Although I think we need the healing less having a helix. Yeah, is this ever bludgeon over Reaper? I, I think it might be. Highest Act 3 Hexaghost attack we've ever seen. This I remember personally is 13 by 6, but we might have seen more than that. Would this become a Sneko Deco? I think we'd be pretty happy with Sneko, especially if I take the Bludgeon, which I'm actually pretty strongly considering here to really augment our damage output. I'm going to take it. Let's take a Bludgeon here. Feels weird. And we can go Bludgeon Dripper. Dripper with the ice cream seems easy peasy. There's also Runic Cube and Astrolabe. Astrolabe could be okay here. But I am definitely happy with a Coffee Dripper. We can no longer rest, but we get one energy per turn, and I think that's mighty good. Mighty, mighty good. Now we get to add more card draw. Probably some other stuff too. Weird act layout. Why don't we start at the shop? Hello, gentlemen. Hmm. 
debating whether I... Actually, fire breathing is worth it, just for a Cinder's Bane here, huh? Attend to each of them. Let's do that. Perfect. Not perfect. He might get away. Looks like he's going to. Really? Really? Half considering drinking the Entropic Brew in this moment. He's only got 40 of our gold. But 40 gold does buy a potion. So... Let's see what's in here. I'm doing it. Alright, you're dead, kid. Give me my money back. Now we have two potions. Perfected Strike plus. All right. I have six strikes. It's not bad. I'll take it. Yeah, 27 for two. Not bad at all. Bonk. Definitely not bad. Ooh, I can't even block for 15, huh? Hmm. This is too close. Strike gets me there, or power through gets me there, or secret weapon into strike gets me there. Let's swift pot here. Worth. Hmm. Nah. Next boss is the champion. We should get a true grid if we can, or a burning pact. Hmm. Or we could go double power through, double fire breathing. That's kind of cool. I'm definitely more willing to make risky choices for more interesting runs at Ezra Streak Imaginary Numbies. I still make um, more fun decisions, even when I'm on a high streak, but uh, definitely more so here at the Low Ascensions. Where's that Evolve at? Finally, the Juzu Bracelet. I am going to go double fire breathing. I'm going to pay for the one, even though I skipped it earlier. Seems insane, but uh, here we are. Strikes, get out. Bird nerds, get in. Guess we kill this one. Or wait, no, I should have. No, that was the wrong one. I'm a dum dum. All good. It's definitely supposed to kill the middle one there. The one that wasn't disarmed. Oops. Okay, um, we do want either a medical kit or an Evolve pretty soon, though.
still, this should be a pretty fun elite fight. What you got? Book of Stabbing. I can do that. Uh, I gotta know what this next card is. Okay. All right, I'll just spot weakness bash. Not how I wanted to use the buffer in this fight, but uh, oh well. Might have wanted to consider the Dexterity Potion. Uh, this becomes six times five, which we still block. Also, get destroyed. Pretty good book of stepping fight. There's the True Grit I wanted. We could have another Berserk instead. I want the True Grit. I want a way to exhaust cards. Important to me. And I think I'll use the Ancient Potion here. No, wait. I have double Fire Breathing Feel No Pain. Get freaking destroyed. I have nothing to fear. Dual wield the fire breathings. Easy. Destroy the bird. Just a little bit shy of full blocking, or, well, of blocking the first hit, rather. Oh well. There's the Evolve. No question we take that. Very important here. Cool that we ended up with an Evolve Fire Breathing deck. That does not happen very often. And I don't feel like I've been um, forcing it or anything. It's actually just kind of what got handed to us on a silver platter here. Ooh. I'll take Voln on turn one. And I think we're good to go probably this way. Okay, now this is a good use for the Ancient Potion. No, we have Buffer. We don't even need to block the Vuln here. Mm -mm. No problem. That went pretty well. Uh, Shrug is okay with Ice Cream especially. Just having more block slash draw engine is pretty good. And that's a little interesting with the Fire Breathings. Shrug. Upgrade the Evolve. Next upgrade is the True Grit. Which we probably don't actually need anymore now that we have the Evolves. I arguably don't even need the True Grit to be upgraded, quite frankly. I'm going to kill you both. Before we get the powers down, this will be a pretty tough fight, so we have to be a little careful here. 
please draw Cinder's Bay next turn. All right, now we're getting attacked next turn, and there's nothing I can do about it. Bit of a bummer. This could hurt. Although we have lots of good block coming up. Fortunately, giving the enemies block means the fire breathing won't kill them. Although we can finish this nerd. And then I can do power through, power through flame barrier. Which means we miss evolve? Maybe that was power through flame barrier evolve. Yes, it was. Uh, no, we can just play the energy potion. Let's not be silly here. Good. Ancient tea set. After visiting a rest site, start our next combat with two energy. Love this relic with ice cream, specifically. We get another evolve. I don't think we won't actually need two of these. I don't think I actually want two evolves. So we could get another one to draw it early more reliably, except for the fact that all the statuses go to the discard pile. So it's only for statuses added by enemies that we care about the second evolve. Which could matter in heart, could matter in shield and spear. So those are valid reasons to add this, heart and shield and spear. But otherwise we always see the evolve plus before we see the wounds. Body Slam could do some good damage. I don't feel like we need it here. Definitely such a thing as too many cards added. I'm going to skip these, personally. I do not want them. Nice. Although all three power throughs on turn one was not nice. So about that second evolve. Oh, just got there. Okay. Okay. And there's a burning pact. Not only a burning pact, but a burning pact plus. Heck yeah. Would Dekka's Dazes also be a reason for a second evolve? No, because those also go to the discard pile. So just like with the other statuses, we're guaranteed to see the Evolve Plus before we draw into those. This Book of Stabbing has plus three strength. Scratch that. This Book of Stabbing is completely normal. Seems fine. Perfect block. This turn's a little iffy. Ouch. 
Ouch. And then it's over. That wasn't too bad, considering that was an Act 2 Burning Elite. We'll take the pair, we'll take the Emerald Key, we'll take a Dupe Bot, and we'll take a Fiend Fire. Fiend Fire with a handful of wounds is amazing here. How's it going, Hank Hankinson? Shocked to see how much better I am? Well, that's just a couple thousand hours, I guess specifically 7,000 hours of playing this game to be uh, shown off. This is a ridiculously replayable game, and a game that might feel really random at first, but is, uh, like many roguelites, really skill-based when, uh, when you get down to it. I will upgrade True Grit. 7,000 is a big number. Yeah, we've been doing this kind of as our full-time job here now for five years almost. Five years of streaming a lot of Slay the Spire. And growing a Twitch channel from nothing to uh, one that regularly pulls in a thousand plus viewers for the Spire content, which is still insane to me. Especially now that the game is fairly old. Especially now that the game is fairly old. So we're going to kill Champ with Fire Breathing, and it's amazing. Delete these cards. What are these cards? Where we're going, we don't need spot weakness. That's right, we're still getting better. That's the crazy thing, too. After 7,000 hours of playing this game, I am still getting better at it. Which is particularly nuts to me. The goal here is use the Trugit and the Burning Pack to delete everything that isn't a wound, pretty much. And then just draw all of the wounds over and over again. Here we go. Lepers would be good here. And likewise, Barricade would be good for similar reasons. Definitely. I still have Buffer, by the way. Hello? I drew a completely normal hand? What? Pretty sure that's illegal. There we go. Bonk. GG. Furious versus Immolate. Um, we don't actually have an answer to Reptomancer. Which makes me want to take Immolate here. As much as I like Impervious, uh, I really think we're going to need this to kill daggers from the Repto, as well as maybe the shapes in Act 3. Fire Breathing isn't an answer. Now, actually, it's very important to mention Fire Breathing is not an answer to Reptomancer because Fire Breathing requires us to draw the statuses, which happens kind of late in the fight. But we need to kill the daggers on turn 2. Turn 2 is when we take 100 damage. We cannot make Fire Breathing work on turn 2. No way. Not without cards that put the statuses in the draw pile anyway. We don't have that. So we have to take some front-loaded AoE. Or we can't kill the daggers. That's where MLA comes in. But yeah, we'll, we'll never draw the statuses on turn two. I think it's really important to recognize that. You cannot count on the fire breathing to kill Reptomancer's daggers. If only we had Wild Strike. That's right. Uh, let's keep the dupe pot. Pick up the fruit juice here. 
Well, excuse me. I guess we will draw the statuses on turn two. Here's Mark of Pain. <laughs> or we could take something else. Mark of Pain seems just too appropriate, though. Let's take that. Give me wounds in the draw pile. I also... Yeah, a second evolve also, right? Like, the amount of egg dripping all over my face is pretty amazing. In that regard. Oh, well. What was I just saying about Immolate here? Easy fight solve. It says plus. I'm taking it. I'm a Flame Barrier fanatic, especially Flame Barrier Bronze Scales. The most satisfying sound effect ever, really. Another fight that Immolate helps in. There's plus on it. Step it town. Thanks for the prime sub of the 31 months of support. Guess I no longer value the shop as much since I got to full health. You can go to this shop instead. Let's do that. I might actually benefit from the healing over there. Of course, I get nothing from the meal ticket currently. Let's take some events. I like events. Show me two pots. They're bad events. That's okay. Thank you, Buffer. this run benefit hugely from an upgrade all? Hmm. Yeah? I wouldn't disagree with that. Second Evolve is back. There's also Entrench, which is interesting. Feels like Overkill? But maybe it's not. Let's take the Evolve. Because of the Mark of Pain and, and such. Also, Reptomancer, I guess. Here she is. And look at that. We got Immolate turn one. You all owe Immolate an apology. Fire breathing is also here, though. Doing its best. Let's go ahead and distill the chaos. Let's do that. Oh. Well, I regret my choice. <laughs> Never mind. Let's not do that. Should have seen that coming, quite frankly.
And that's why I don't take the card Mayhem. Usually. See you later, lady. We're a boat thingy now. Reckless charge? Puts a dazed into the draw pile? Exactly where we want it. Let's recall. Okay, Giant Head actually seems relatively challenging for this deck. Hmm. Especially if I lose my buffer to stupid nonsense like this. Low? Hmm. May want to use a duplication potion, perhaps on fire breathing? Hmm. Shameful. All right, time to block for 37. Guess what? I don't. This is why we put the Gop late in the act. Buffer sure would be good here, right? Do draw one more card. Hold on. I'm not going to do pot. That was more than one card. All right, all right. Good bar. Okay, not that bad. Now our vulnerable is more impactful. We get some healing via a blood potion. And I could take another source of AoE with combust, which I am probably not going to do. Would a corruption fit in this deck? No, I think that would be, as you, as you note, sabotage. We want to be able to keep playing the power through. Cry of the Wind, thanks for 16 months of support. Calipers? Oh no! Bag of marbles, go away. Shouldn't have fallen for you. Just when we needed them, the calipers. It's a bummer. Definitely a bummer. Don't want madness is correct. Yeah, we have lots of energy with ice cream. Let's just retrace our steps. Lose five max health and stride forth into the Nemesis fight. Nemesis is a good opponent here. Lots of statuses added, which is exactly what we want. Hey. My buffer. My buffer. Jerk. No. Oh. 
still not that worried. We have the blood potion and the meal ticket and the burning blood. So our health will go up substantially very shortly here. Get a preserved insect, which will make spire spear and spire shield a bit easier. Another upgraded true grit lets us exhaust cards of our choosing. I like that too. We heal 15 of the shop, back to 65 health here. Click on Brimstone? No, don't do that. Click on Offering. Click on Card Remove. This is not a very good Brimstone. You want Strength Scaling cards to go with Brimstone, and we really don't have that beyond the Fiendfire. But yeah, Offering Card Remove? That looks good. And I can remove one more card at the final shop. It's Brimstone, but my Brimstone win rate. Yes, indeed, my Brimstone win rate. Let's keep it at 100%, please. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Act one hand against Transient. Yikes. Now we're good, though. Definitely not the enemy you want to brick a draw against, that's for sure. No status is in the draw pile, though. Interesting. There we go. The combo. Deck seems to be sort of functioning. Would I say it's ready for hearts? Pretty much. We get one more remove, maybe a different potion. Could change things. Don't think I want a limit break or a wild strike. I'd say we have a good odds against the heart, even as we are right now. The buffer and the disarm can be very good protection for the first cycle. Um, although we're not guaranteed to have that work. So we might take zero damage first cycle. We might take a lot. Upgrading our card draw does seem pretty powerful, although offering is probably a better upgrade if I want card draw. Double Evolve, turn one, pretty good. Boat thingy preserving our buffer. Oh yeah, the buffer works a lot better with boat thingy. I'll play Immolate too. Not Disarm though. Keep that energy. YMKA QQ, thanks for the prime sub. The six months. My top three potions for heart fight. Uh, let's see. Ancient potion. Ghost in a jar for silent. Duplication potion in general is very good. Debating playing berserk here. Let me take a little bit more. Let me do it. So I have the boofer. Play that uh, defend just for ink bottle. Keep this too. Those wounds.
Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Not that worried about heart as long as we can survive the initial attacks. Because once we start drawing these hands, heart is going to be toast. Mostly. Mostly toast. Hello? Okay, this fight could be bad. This is a difficult battle. However, we can at least delete the cards we're not planning on using. I think we probably want one Fire Breathing. And we probably want the Evolve Plus. We can delete Berserk. We can delete the second Fire Breathing. We can delete even Feel No Pain. draw into that yet. Maybe a good attack potion turn. Alright, Immolate is here. We never full block this, so let's just buffer and save the energy. Let's do that. Next turn is the multi-hit, which will be probably the scariest turn of this fight, is this one. Doesn't seem so bad. Why would I delete the second fire breathing? Because it gives strength to the Awakened One to play it. I guess we could wait until phase two to play it. If we keep it around, we keep drawing it, which becomes an issue. I'm going to lose the Field of Pain. Bird is dead to return damage. 11 plus 28 is 39. We full block. Okay, that was good. That was not a scary turn at all. This turn's a bit bad. That's fine. We'll just play Evolve. Group it here. Okay, not too bad. Good. Somewhat tempting fiend fire. Raw pile looks like hot garbage. That's worrisome. Yikes. Uh. Uh oh. At what point do you know you have too many wounds? You're no longer drawing your block cards. Is too many wounds usually? Do we ever kill with what's in the draw pile? Maybe. We'll try it. That would make the next turn a lot easier if I can just win. Mm, could have been worse. 
definitely could have been worse. Cool, now I can play Evolve. I'm not going to play Offering. We've got lots of good block cards in the draw pile, so I feel quite safe here. Fine draw pile also. Might be time to get rid of a few wounds here. Did I lose the other fire breathing? Oh yeah, I, I played Fiend Fire, that's right. Remember now. Yeah, so th this is starting to run up against too many wounds here. I didn't say we're there yet, but soon. So now we want to delete some of them. Sure, add more statuses. See if I care. Looks like a GG to me. Could have set up um, a bottle a little bit more, but uh, too late for that now. GG, we're on to Act 4 here. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room is this. The art of the spire, the source of this evil. Deal 21, 40 damage to that stinky heart. Now we get healed to exactly full at the shop. Kind of cool. Thinking about upgrading Fiend Fire so that we have a better chance of killing either Spear or Shield early. And also upgrade the Pommel Strike for more card draw. Play the Fiend Fire. A nice old heal. Dark Embrace is here. Another Disarm is here. Blood Potion might be okay. I think I'm going to buy Dark Embrace as yet another card draw power. It seems really good here. And the additional healing to buy us more time to set up. Sounds good. Art of War was decent as well, although it feels like we have enough energy to play all of our cards most of the time. Hmm. I don't want to play Berserk here. Evolve turn one is pretty good. This is the second Evolve we added. I could dupe it from two more cards next turn. That means giving up the dupe pot, though, which I'm not so sure about. Hmm. I'm going to do it. Definitely more worried about this fight than I am the heart fight, actually. Goes to 14, so we only take 9. Yeah, this is good. This is very good. We're going to have to block for 40, huh? 
can sort of do that. We got flame barrier, power through. Dark embrace. The perfect amount. Perfect. The fire, uh, the flame barrier plus thorns combo has done damage to so many enemies throughout this run. That's just like enormous damage. Been really enjoying it. Wounds, please. Hello. One more energy on turn one to keep with ice cream. And one more fiend fire if we want it. Fiend fire seems awesome here. With the feel no pain and all that. I think we have pretty good odds here. Eddie AoE, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. So, got to the final fight here. Will the believers or the doubters get their payout today? That is the question. With a turn one like this, it's hard to imagine losing. But it could happen. We've got Evolve turn one, Fire Breathing turn one. I'm not going to play Offering with Buffer, because I want to block the big hit if possible. And a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Trebendo Days. Did you hear about the guy who decided to challenge the Ironclad to a game of Magic the Gathering? The Ironclad decked him. No refunds to a shot. And Puddle Jumper, thanks for the three months. To the person who stole my Microsoft subscription, I will find you. You have my word. Uh, do I play this power through is my question. I think the answer is yes. I'll make sure I can ink bottle next turn. Perfect. Buffer doing its job here, and with this attack first, I think we're totally fine. I think it's very unlikely to lose now. No downside, Berserk. Blorp. Disarm, where are you? Disarm, my child. Disarm my child. Good. We already have the Dark Embrace in play. We can just get a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want into my hand and play the Fiend Fire here. Is that what you're saying? That is what we're saying. Looking good here. Yeah, Void preventing us from playing the Evolve hurt a little bit there. Not 
too bad though. Guess offering doesn't draw much, huh? This would be too many wounds. We don't want to play that unnecessarily. Let me keep that offering around. Oh yeah, we're still missing the Evolve Plus. Hmm. Guess that's fine. Classic. Okay, lose one power through, that's fine. Double Flame Barrier on the multi-hit turn? Sounds good, actually. It's going to be a ton of damage. Simply a ton. Ripple Flame Barrier. Ultimate Revenge Power. Blocked. Seems good. GG, Mr. Hart. Enjoy hitting your own face. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.